This is Amy from Adventure Box. Last time I discussed a few options for creating worlds, but I left out one. Do you play Minecraft and want to share your world with other people without having to worry about pesky trolls and griefers who just want to destroy your stuff? Do you want to play with your friends who don't have Minecraft, or they have Minecraft and you don't? Do you want to create what is essentially a Minecraft mod, but find the process too difficult? That's where the Minecraft import comes in. Find the folder on your computer where your Minecraft world is saved, which you can do by following the instructions on the screen here. So let's just type in the folder name, and there it is. Then drag your folder into the dotted lines here to upload. Simple as that. Oops, you didn't see that. Let's try that again. There we go. And guess what comes next? That's right, waiting. Just like with Google Maps, the larger your Minecraft world is, the longer it will take to import it. You don't have to be logged in, you'll get an email when the world is ready. So you can take this moment to go do something else. I suggest going outside and exploring your neighborhood, or doing something fun with your friends, or petting some cats. <gasps> Powder and Bell! You are the cutest little kitties in the world. You are. Right now, AdventureBox worlds have a set height of 128 blocks, but we'll try to import as much of the core Minecraft world as we can. The maximum import size is 50 megabytes, but if your world weighs more than that you still want to import it, send us an email and we'll do what we can. By the way, of course you can import other players' Minecraft maps this way too, but if you do this, please make sure to credit the original map maker and leave a link in the world description to where the original map can be found. It would be bad if you get accused of plagiarism or theft, now wouldn't it? If you wish to be extra courteous, you could probably contact the map creators first and ask if it's okay to upload the map here. I know that the maps on map sharing sites are well, to be shared, but I personally fi find it's better to be a bit too polite than to be a bit too rude. And make sure to unzip the downloaded map before importing it here, it won't work otherwise. And that just about covers it for now, I believe. Please leave a comment on this video or send us an email if there's any confusion regarding the process. We also have a server on Discord where you can ask questions from other players. Links in the description below. Thank you for watching, and until next time!